So this is a piece of abstract art. And the title of this piece of art is The Evolving Model of a Shattered Dream. So I'll just leave you with that for a few seconds. And so what you might do is you might be able to identify features of the art that correspond to the content of the title. For example, there appear to be fragments of geometric shapes scattered throughout the entire field of the painting, creating disorder from something previously ordered. And that could serve as a plausible visual metaphor for somebody's shattered dream. And you might feel, upon learning this title, the art now says something more deep and profound and reveals something more fundamental about the human experience. And you might think, overall, it's a higher quality piece of art, having learned the title. And if that's true, if that sounds like you right now, then what has actually happened is I've just successfully bullshitted you. Because that's not the title of this artwork. I actually don't know what the title of this artwork is. But the title I did tell you was randomly generated by a computer and then randomly paired with this piece of art. So when we talk about bullshit, what we're talking about is communication that intends to be impressive or convincing without being too concerned about communicating anything specifically meaningful. And by now, we've shown over a thousand different people, thousands upon thousands of variations of artworks like this paired with these bullshit style titles. And what we find consistently is the exact same thing that the good portion of you might have experienced live, is that having that bullshit style title makes the art feel more profound. They think it's better, and they think it's more valuable monetarily. And the way we think about the importance of results like these is conceptualizing bullshit as a low-cost strategy for gaining advantages in social domains, competitive domains. And so we demonstrated here in the realm of art, bullshit makes the art seem more meaningful, better. But what we argue, it applies to any domain of human competition where at least part of the goal involves impressing other people. Science, art, three-minute thesis competitions. And now I know nobody here would make use of that strategy, but keeping all the quality of our, our, our work equal, the best bullshitter is probably going to do the best. So we demonstrated here in the domain of art, and future work is going to explore these domains and identifying the conditions under which bullshit works as a cost-effective strategy for getting advantages and where it doesn't. But for now, what we conclude at the very least is that bullshit makes the art grow profounder. Thank you.